In this video, you will learn how to create a stakeholder map in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this stakeholder map using the set of data. First column shows the name of stakeholders. Second column shows the impact of change. And third column shows the level of influence. The stakeholder map helps us to identify the key stakeholders, understand their influence, and develop a strategy for stakeholder management. So, let's learn how to create stakeholder map in Microsoft Excel. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will generate a scatter plot. Select first two columns. Now you can see here I have selected both columns. Go to insert. From here, you will find the option of charts. From here, select scatter plot. Click here and choose scatter plot without line. I will place it here. You can resize it. Now click on this chart and here you will find the option of plus sign which is chart element option. Click on here. I want to insert axis title so I will select this option and I don't want this grid line so I will deselect this option. Now click on chart title. Put equal sign in formula bar. And I want to insert stakeholder map in title. I will choose this cell, press enter and title is edited. Go to home and change its font size, bold, black color and 16. Similarly edit the axis titles. Select this one, put equal sign in formula bar. Select the cell and press enter. You can also manually edit the axis title. Click here, again click here and remove the existing data and change its title, impact of change. Now you can also change their font size. Select this one, black color, 12 and bold. Copy this format using format vendor option and apply this on x axis title. Similarly select y axis values and edit their font size and font style. Copy this format and apply it on x axis values. Now click on this plot area. Go to format and here you will find the option of shape outline. Select this one. From here I will choose black color. Again click here and here you will find the option of weight. From here I will choose one and half pt. Now again select x axis values, right click, here you will find the option of format axis, select this one, go to fill and line option, from here in line option select solid line, choose black color and from here I will adjust width 1.5 pt. Now Go to axis option. From here I will insert tick marks. Scroll down. And in tick marks select major type outside. And minor type outside. Repeat similar procedure for x axis as well. Select this one. Go to fill and line option. Select solid line. Black color is already selected. Width 1.5 pt. Go to axis option and in tick mark select major type outside and minor type outside. Now I want to create a quadrant in this plot area. For that purpose I need extra data. I will write extra data. X axis. 
एंड वाई एक्सिस Currently, you can see here x-axis values are zero to ten, and y-axis values are zero to ten. Remember that you have to select the middle value of x-axis as well as y-axis. Currently, you can see here the middle value of x-axis is five, and the middle value of y-axis is five. So I will write five in x-axis and five in y-axis. Now click on this chart. Right-click. Here you will find the option of select data. In ledger entries, you will find the option of add. Click here. In series name, select extra data cell. In x-axis values, if there is existing data, you can remove that. Currently, you can see here I don't have any data, so I will click here and select x-axis values, which is five. Similarly, click on series Y values, remove existing data, and select the cell which contain Y axis values, which is five. Click on OK. Again on OK. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has inserted a scatter plot for this extra data series. Select this one and go to Chart Design option. Here you will find the option of Add chart element. Click here. Go to error bar option, and from here I will choose more error bar options. In direction, I will select both. End style, no cap. Scroll down. From here, I will select percentage, and I will select percentage value hundred percent. Now again, go to this error bar option. Click on this down arrow key. Currently, you can see here it is selected series extra data Y error bar. Now I will choose series extra data X error bars and repeat this procedure. No cap. Direction on both side. Percentage. Hundred. And I will close this one. Currently, you can see here Microsoft Excel did not create a quadrant accurately because the values increased to 12 instead of 10. So I will change maximum values. Click here, right click, go to Format Axis option. From here, I will choose maximum value to 10. Similarly, select X axis and Change its value to ten. Again, click on this y-axis values and make a change. In major unit, I will choose two instead of one because currently values are densely packed. Click here and close this one. Now click on this line. right click go to format error bar option go to fill and line option and from here i will select solid line black color and 1.5 pt width similarly select other line and repeat this procedure Now click on this scatter plot. Currently, you can see here this data series is selected. Right click, go to format data series, go to fill and line option. From here, select marker, and in fill I will choose no fill, and in border I will select no line. Close this one. Now click on any marker. Now you can see here all markers are selected. Place your cursor on any marker. Right click. 
Here you will find the option of format data series, select this one. Go to fill line option. From here you will find the option of marker, select this one. And go to marker options. From here I will choose build in. You can select any marker type. I will choose this one. And from here you can adjust the size of marker. Here is the option of fill of this marker and border of these markers. I will not change it. After doing that, select these markers and go to chart element option. From here I will choose data label. Select this one and Microsoft Excel will insert data labels. Click on any data label. All data labels will be selected. Now go to home tab and from font size select their font. Now after the selecting data labels, place your cursor on any data label, right click and here you will find the option of format data label, select this one. I will place it here. From here I will choose values from cells, select this one. It will ask select data label range, select the first column name. Click on OK. Secondly, I don't want Y axis value, so I will deselect this one and I will also deselect show ladder lines. If I scroll down, here is an option of label position. You can select center, left, right. I will choose right. After that, I will close this one. Now you can see here we have successfully generated stakeholder map. Additionally, if you want to insert these collaborate with maintain confidence, monitor or keep informed, you can also do that. For example, I will insert collaborate with. Go to insert. And here you will find the option of text. From here I will choose text box. I will insert a text box here and you can write anything. For example, in this case I want to write collaborate with. Now from here I will choose center and here I will also choose center. In shape format. I will choose shape outline, no outline and by selecting this you can also change their color. Similarly select this one. Place your cursor on this line. When four arrow sign appeared, right click and copy this, paste it here. And you can also edit it. For example, in this case, I will write maintain confidence. So by doing so, you can easily edit your stakeholder map. You can also insert other labels on these quadrants. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.